guys, I am so, so, so happy to see everyone today. Are you guys ready for church? We always have so much fun and I can't wait to see what fun we're gonna have today. But first, who's ready to play a game? Today, we have a super fun game to play. It's called Animal Emoji Challenge. And this is how you play. On the screen, we'll have a wheel of animals. The wheel is going to spin around and stop on an animal, and we're going to act like the animal it stops on. Do you guys think you can do that? I know you can. Okay, first, let's spin the wheel and see what animal it lands on. Here we go, one big spin. Okay, what's it gonna stop on? Oh, a monkey. Can you all scratch like a monkey? We can make monkey sounds. Ooh, ah, ah and pretend like we're eating a banana. Mmm, good job, everyone. Okay, let's spin the wheel again. Oh, what's it gonna stop on? An alligator? Can you guys chomp like an alligator? Chomp, chomp. Alligators have such big mouths and they chomp so big like this. Great job, everyone. Are you guys ready for another round? Okay, let's spin that wheel, here we go. Oh, it landed on a frog. Can you all hop like a frog? Hop, hop, hippity hop. Oh man, you are all so good at this. Okay, here we go. Who's ready for another round? Let's spin the wheel again. Oh, it's an elephant. Can you swing your arms like a big trunk? Oh, and we can stomp around on the ground since elephants are so big and strong. Oh man, you guys are so good at this game. Okay, who's ready to spin the wheel for one last round? Here we go. Oh, do you know what that is? It's a bird. There are so many birds in the jungle. Can you spread your arms out and fly like a bird around the room? And birds make some really loud bird noises. Ah! Good job. That was such a fun game. Did you guys have as much fun as I did? You all did such an amazing job. Now let's take a look at our memory verse. Hi everyone. Are you ready for our memory verse? It's found in Ephesians 4, 1. It says, for you have been called by God. Let's stand to our feet so we can all learn it together. Are you guys ready? Okay, when we say for you, I want you to point outwards like you're pointing at someone else. Can you guys do that? Good job. Next, when we say have been called, I want you to cup your hands around your mouth like you're calling to someone. Do you think you can do that? Great job. Last, when we say, by God, we'll point up with our fingers. Let me see you do it. Wow, amazing. Okay, now it's time to put it all together. I'll say it first, and then you guys can repeat after me while we do the motions. Are you ready? For you have been called by God. Ephesians 4, 1. Great job. Let's say that again. Are you ready? For you have been called by God. Ephesians 4, 1. Man, you guys are getting so good at that. Okay, let's say it one more time. But this time we're gonna say it as loud as we can. Are you ready? For you have been called by God, Ephesians 4, 1. Wow, that was amazing. You all did a great job. Now, stay standing on your feet because it's time to declare the Word of God. God's Word is, that's right, it's powerful. Okay, let's shout this out as loud as we can. In one, two, three, four. It's 
so important to declare God's word over our lives. Now stay standing with me. Let's get ready for worship.
today. I'm so excited because today is the last part of our summer adventure. We've been on the high seas with Captain Chip, we've soared through space with Roger, and now we're finishing the last trip through the jungle with Jenny. Hey, speaking of Jenny, have, have you guys seen her? I have something very important to teach you about today, and I know she would love to hear Miss all Amy, about Miss it Amy, too. Miss Amy, I finally did it! I finally did it! Well, what did you do? I passed the test! I finished my training! That means that you can officially take a ride on Jenny's Jungle Jeep Excursions! Wow, Jenny! I'm so happy for you! That is amazing news! So, do you want to be my very first passenger on my excursion? Of course I do! But first, the kids are waiting! Can we teach them our lesson and then you can show me the excursion? Okay, I guess so. I just can't wait to do my first tour ever. What are we learning about today anyway? Well, the past few weeks, we've been learning about how God calls us and how we can call on him. So today, we're going to learn about what we can do with the callings God has given us. The callings God has given us are sort of like gifts. <gasps> gifts? I love gifts! <laughs> Me too! But just as with gifts, God doesn't want us to hold on to the gifts he gives us only for ourselves. He wants us to share those gifts with other people around us. So, God wants me to give you a gift? What kind of gifts do you like? Chocolate? Toys? Smelly candles? No, Jenny, I don't need a gift. Do you remember how I was telling you that God has called me to teach kids? Yes, you love to teach them about how much God loves them and how to live their life for him. That's right, I do love teaching, but what good would it do if God gave me the gift of teaching and I didn't share it? Would it do any good if I just kept that to myself and didn't teach? Hmm, well, I suppose not. You're right. It wouldn't do any good not to share the gift God gave me to help others. So today, our main point is I use my gifts to help others. And we can say it like this. I use my gifts to help others. Kids, can you say that with me? I use my gifts to help others. Good job, everyone! Well, Miss Amy, what could sharing my gift look like if I'm just Jenny, who drives a jungle jeep? Well, it can look like anything. God gives us gifts or special things we're good at to help others and to love his people. It can look different for all of us. But maybe since you're going to see people every day on your jungle excursion, it could be as simple as letting those people know how much Jesus cares for them. Oh, I think I can do that. <sighs> I know you can. Using our gifts to help others doesn't have to be hard or complicated. In fact, we are never too young to share our gifts. Boys and girls, I'm sure God has given you special things you are good at too. Like singing. That's right. Or playing instruments, teaching, serving others, maybe even raising money to help others in need around you. Wow, there must be so many gifts we can share with others. There sure are. In fact, the Bible tells us in 1 Peter 4:10. God has given each of you a gift. Use it to help each other. That means that the gift God has given you might not look the same as someone else's gift. But if we all use our gifts to help others, we can love and serve lots of people. It makes me so happy. 
happy to hear about all the gifts we have that we could serve God's kingdom. It is very exciting and it makes God so happy when we share our gifts. Do you all remember our memory verse? In Ephesians 4, 1, it says, for you have been called by God. We've all been called by God, no matter how young we are to use our gifts and talents to help others. Oh, Miss Amy, let's have the kids help us say our main points again. Kids, do you remember it? I, I use my gifts, gifts to help, help others. others. That was so awesome, friends. I know you are all going to help so many people by using the gifts God has given each one of you. Why don't we all pray and ask God to help us use our gifts? Dear God, thank you for giving each one of us special gifts we can use to help others. Thank you that we are never too young to serve and love your people. Please help us be brave in sharing the gifts you've given us. We love you. Amen. Okay, Miss Amy, you know what time it is. It's time for Jenny's Jungle Jeep Excursion. There are people out there that need the love of God. Let's go. Wow, we had so much fun today. I love getting to have church together with all of my friends. You guys are the best. We are praying for you to have an amazing week and we can't wait to see you guys next time.